Today I'm going to walk you through the process of installing a brand new dishwasher. Uh, first what we're going to do is uninstall this dishwasher, look at all the components that are in it, and get our new dishwasher ready for install. One thing to consider is sometimes the connections aren't going to be the exact same size, and that's why looking at our user manual and looking at the existing connections will be key to success in this installation process. Now we come to our first step, which is removing the existing dishwasher. Typically, there's gonna be brackets that are on top of the dishwasher that are screwed into the bottom of the countertop, and that keeps it in place. So here, we actually have two spots where there are screws. What we're gonna do is remove these screws. We're gonna gently slide out the dishwasher and see what we're working with. There's gonna be plumbing going out of this, most likely through the wall here and into the sink and out of the house through the plumbing. So first step is just getting these screws out, getting this guy out, and then to our next step was probably gonna be removing the, or turning the water off and then turning the power off and getting this disconnected. But we'll cover that step. So first things first is getting the dishwasher uninstalled and out of the cabinetry. And one thing to remember is always keep the screws, brackets, everything intact and in place organized in case you'll need it for the other dishwasher, just in case. All right, so. Yeah, so now it can basically just slide out pretty easily. There's going to be a lot of gunk, a lot of installation, insulation around it. Um, this dishwasher probably hasn't been changed for years, maybe half a decade or more. So there's probably going to be a lot of goodies underneath that. So. You can see this gorgeous insulation. Um, which is actually acts as a sound barrier when it's on properly. Yeah, so as you can see, there's lots of stuff that have just built up underneath this appliance. So we're gonna get this cleaned up and go into the next step of getting these power lines and water lines taken off. We've cleared out all of our stuff underneath the sink. Um, dishwasher is right next door. We can see there are the power lines and the hot water line and the hose here that are coming out there. What we want to do is unplug the dishwasher, which will disconnect all the electricity. And right here, we have our hot water line with a spindle so we can actually just turn off the water at the source right here. Obviously, this guy is connected with a three prong plug. Let's go out the color off. Boom. And as you can see, it goes out there with a the hot water line. Now that the water is turned off, we want to make sure it is actually off before we start just pulling hoses off. So you can go up to your faucet because the line is attached to the faucet and out to the dishwasher. Now we did have a, a bowl down below just in case some excess water comes out just to catch it. Luck favors the prepare, so. This guy is a little bit tricky. So you can see that we have our drain hose here. It goes right up to the hose clamp. We're going to take a little flat head. You might need to use a X head. This guy's gonna loosen this clamp up. We removed our last dishwasher, the old one. Uh, went in there, got it cleaned up, we got our new one ready to go. If you'll notice, I have a brand new accessory right here on my finger. Um, I forgot to mention that you want to wear gloves when doing any kind of installation, uh, with an appliance especially. Um, gunk can get under there, but also like in a kitchen, glass can break. And when glass breaks, it spreads out everywhere. And I found out the hard way that there was glass underneath that last dishwasher with my hand. Um, so you always want to be prepared and wear gloves. Uh, please don't be as dumb as me and not wear gloves. Um, I should make note too that I'm not a professional. I'm just sharing my expertise and my passion for appliance 
education. So let me get my gloves on. We're gonna get this guy installed. This is actually a Z-Line dishwasher. Um, they come panel ready, hence why it looks so beautiful like this, nice and ready to go. Uh, panel ready really means that you can put any kind of panel on there, any kind of door. Uh, panel ready is great for uh, customizing your dishwasher. So you can get wooden panels uh, that match your cabinetry. Um, you're gonna get unfinished wood and stain it to match, or you can paint it to have a nice contrast. Um, but Z-Line offers their own collection of gorgeous designer finishes. So with this one, we actually have a copper door, which is beautiful. Um, I think it's gonna add a nice accent to this kitchen. Um, it's actually not real copper. Um, looking at their website, it's a 304 grade stainless steel, which is designed to have anti-corrosive material. It's really designed to handle humidity well. And you can actually put this metal outside and it wouldn't rust, be rust resistant, but um, it's gonna be great for a dishwasher. On the back here, you'll see how easy it is to get this on there. So this actually comes with all the hardware to either install it in the door that comes with it or in the extra door if you wanted to have it more customized. So you gotta install these brackets down here which actually clip in there. And these two keys will slide right in there into place. And then we'll open this dishwasher up and there's, you can see it very small but there's actually two holes here that will screw in through here and I'll show you that to get this door secured. So let's get to that next step. There is one thing that I noticed on here. There's this strip, uh, this kind of vinyl adhesive that's on the top of the dishwasher. Um, it actually wasn't mentioned in the manual at all, um, but I actually know what this is. Oddly enough, this is actually a, it's, a, it's called a condensation strip. So this actually will adhere to the top, the bottom, excuse me, of the cabinetry, so that when you open up your dishwasher, the steam will roll off the cabinetry instead of basically eating away and creating more condensation and mold in the cabinetry. Right now we're looking at the bottom of the dishwasher. This is the front, that's the back over here. Towards the front the bottom we have our electrical connections. We're gonna have to hardwire this to get power to it. Um, what we did was buy what's called a pigtail, which is essentially a three-pronged plug, and at the back end of it has wires exposed that we can hardwire easily. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of getting these wires connected. And then we're going to go to the next step, which is getting the hot wire plugged in and the drainage hose, and we're basically done with our install. The green is always the ground. We have a positive and negative. They just plug it together. And at the end of this pigtail, we have a three-pronged plug. Really simple. And so the best way to get the wires is you crisscross them, and then just give them a nice twist. Ensure a good connection. And then get one of our caps. This guy basically closes off that electrical connection. We twist on there and it just cures it really nice. We have our power supply attached, we have our drainage hose, and we have our hot water line attached and ready to go. 
Now, before we get all those wires pushed and attached, we want to get this guy level. There are four feet on this, on the bottom. So two in the front, two in the back, and they turn to adjust the height. So we want to get this level, front to back, side to side, so that it sits in this cavity nice and level. That way it drains properly and also looks nice. So what we're going to do is get this guy back out, put it on its side, and get all the feet level. Uh, but before I do that, what we want to do is take our measuring tape and measure the height between the bottom of the counter and the top of this. And that way we can just take that, whatever that measurement is, to the bottom of the feet. And that will be a nice baseline to get this ready to go and fit in. All right, so the height needed was two and a quarter inches. So basically it's pretty easy just to get your screwdriver and loose one up. And your tape measure there. to give us a nice router of where our dishwasher sits. Um, this guy is actually sitting perfectly level left to right. Now that we have everything installed, what we're gonna do is get this guy ready with the door and with the brackets that are gonna hold it in place on the counter. So we have these two L brackets here. Um, we're also gonna need two drill bits to get these brackets installed and the door. That's going to be regular old Phillips and a T15 bit, which is a star bit, which will be for these longer screws that will hold in place. First thing we're going to do is get these brackets set up. I'm going to pull the dishwasher out just a little bit. Kind of upset our cords that are pushed through there. And then on the back here, this will basically. With a little screw here, we're going to attach the bracket to the dishwasher and then attach that bracket to the top. Top. As you push in the dishwasher, if you're able to or have a helper, just pull all those cords through too so they're not bunched up back there. All right. So we everything we need. And this guy. Now, before we get it screwed into the cabinetry, let's get the door on. And that's going to relieve a lot of pressure too, because once the door's on, we can get that door flush with our cabinetry. So we'll change out our Phillips head for our T15. And like I said before, we have four screws that we're going to be removing. Again, that's on the template that came with the dishwasher. You'll know that the bottom are locked in when you can't really pull the door away from the dishwasher itself. Make sure this guy is nice and even. Because once we get these screws set in, it's going to be set in place. You can tell that these screws 
much longer than the ones. These are going to go through the dishwasher panel and attach to the door itself. See, there's a little bit of a gap here, uh, opposite over here. So, as you can tell, it's tighter up here, wider down here. So, what we're going to do is raise this side up to bring this gap wider, this gap in, to kind of even it out. What you can probably do right here. centered in your cabinetry. This last part to get this install the dishwasher secured, we're going to go right into those brackets. So same thing with that dishwasher we removed, we took out those brackets when we're getting this guy in, we're going to install it into these two brackets. that does is secures the dishwasher in place and stops it from wobbling around once you open up the door. So we have our drainage hose here. Um, can, it was up there into our air intake. You can either use an air intake or go right into the garbage disposal. Which is what we're going to do because the sizing, this is one inch, the air intake is at a half inch and we don't have an adapter for that. And this will fit just fine right over our garbage disposal. We're going to drop our clamp right there. Basically the reverse of what we did 